Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have five teams for you for the Mirrored Halls Faction Event. We got a new troop, we got a new deep delve, but you know that doesn't really mean anything most of the time. The new troops are never good, the deep delve is never better. So don't worry about those two things. But I got four teams that uh, for high, mid, and low for the event, and then I have pure faction. So if you're looking for pure faction for Mirrored Halls, it's kind of a tricky one. Uh, it's at the end of this video. It takes up the bulk of the video, too. I'm doing these first four teams really quickly because we already had mirrored halls earlier this week. Low-level team, triple Dwarven Gate with the Black Manacles. You just cast the Dwarven Gates. They get up the Black Manacles. You cast the Black Manacles. You rinse and repeat. And I hope it showed enough of a battle on there. I don't know. But yeah, the, you know, it's just like the Wall of Tentacles thing, the Wall of Bones thing. You cast the Dwarven Gate. It gives five mana to the next Dwarven Gate, which gets it up usually... Which you cast again, it gets up the next Dwarven Gate, you cast again, it gets up the Black Manacles. And uh, you can use whatever class you, uh, you want, but I recommend the banner that I showed there. 50% start class would be great, but whatever class you're leveling at the time is fine. Alright, here's the mid-level team of Tesla. Tesla is amazing for anything that you can use her for, especially when you can use Holy Saint Astra too. 50% starts are amazing. They start you, I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You get seven mana at the start of every single battle for the whole event. So why not use Holy Saint Astra? And if you have to cast her, she does help the team. So, But most of the time, you're just going to get up Tesla, cast her, you're going to win. You got two Teslas in case the, the one doesn't work. And then you've got uh, Mountain Crusher up top uh, early. And then you could do Shield of Sky late if you want to add some armor to your team. So Tesla hits harder. You could also use one Tesla... But, you know, I think double Tesla is the way to go most of the time. But if you don't have two of them, this is the mid-level team, so I'm expecting that you have two Teslas, pretty much. But maybe a low-level person could use two, uh, one Tesla. There's many other teams you could use, by the way. There's Mirrored Halls. I showed a couple different teams earlier this week on Tuesday. I have other videos on the channel of Mirrored Halls if you want, if you want other teams. All right, here's the high-level team like you're going fast. I got a high-level let's go fast team, and then I got a high-level let's go deep team. Because you need kind of both of them. Early, you're going to go, hey, let's clear in one shot with AoE, and later you're going to make sure that you win. You want to get to 500. You kind of want to do deathless, and sometimes they're not one and the same. So early on, I just went Diamond Tina. I know a lot of people don't have two of them. There might be other ways to do this. I went Essencia, Wand of Stars, Diamond Tina, Diamond Tina. If you don't have two of them you could use another different kind of dragon down there you could use another different kind of mana generator it's just hard because you got to think about your storm so remember to think about your storm you want that bone storm going so if you do anything that makes that not happen you got to not do that so like harpy mage for example makes a dust storm that screws up your skull storm now your diamantina won't hit as hard just think about it maybe that's not the right you know just think about it your storm all right here's the other high level team so you're going deep, you want to win, you want to go deathless, you want to, you know, you're switching out of your quick team, you're going into your success rate team, your deathless team. We got High King Iron Goat, we got CT, you could also use Zolgoth instead of uh, CT if you want to, which is just as good, I think. Um, I almost, I think Zolgoth's better, honestly, but I like CT, it's fun. So High King Iron Goat, Wand of Stars, CT, and Harpy Mage. Harpy Mage, second turn empowered. Help the team get up. If the wand doesn't get up on first turn or second turn, you can cast the Harpy Mage on the High King Iron Gut. High King Iron Gut devours. CT just there to instant kill something else and potentially get some mana. You know, the, the yellow gems, the green gems, the brown gems it puts on the board to get High King Iron Gut back up. And the Wand of Stars. Wand of Stars can curse. Um, CT can curse. So your High King Iron Gut is just going. It's like a buffet. Devour, 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 devour. Alright, and this is the Pure Faction team. This one is pretty tricky, so you gotta be careful. What I went with was, um, uh, what's her name? Copycat. Copycat, Mirrored Queen. Copycat, the Mirror Queen. And what ha you'll see what happens here, but, um, what I was doing... The main damage dealer was the Mirror Queen. And here's what you gotta think. You wanna kill... Especially with this first battle and the last battle. I'm just showing the first battle because it would take forever for me to show you the entire pure faction. I've already got it done. This is the team that I used. This is me just showing you what I did. This isn't the pure faction where I 
beat it, and I got it done. That was a while ago. I don't think I recorded it. So now I got to do this to show you how I did it. What you want to do is, like, you're going to be facing this team over here twice. And they have copycats. They got stuff they can do to, like, summon. It, it gets annoying. But if you do it the right way, it's not super bad. So I just go from the top to the bottom. So I'll kill their golem first. Then I kill their, um, I forget its name. Uh, mimic? Something like, uh, I forget its name. Doppelganger. Um, I kill their golem first, then their doppelganger, then their copycat, then their other copycat. You gotta do it that way because you're gonna kill the first two, and then the copycat is gonna keep bringing in more copycats, right? Because you'll keep casting on herself and bringing in another copycat, and you'll get frustrated. Because you're like, every time I kill this copycat, they bring in another one. But when copycat makes it summon, the summoned copy cannot make another copy of the same power. I don't... It's like... Hmm. Like, you see the top copycat there? It's 59 armor and 79, uh, 79 HP. It's not as, It's not a good copy. Um... So you want to kill the original copycats first. And then, don't worry about those. I mean, they're annoying because they keep filling the empty slots. Every time you get a kill, it's going to fill the empty slot. They're going to copy. They're going to summon two. Just make sure you kill all the original copycats first. Whatever the highest level, highest stat copycat, you want to kill that one. Concentrate on that one with your Mirror Queen. So right now, I think I'm concentrating on the, the second one because it actually came in with the, the same stats as the uh, first two. So I'm going to get that one out of here. Then I'm going to get the third one out of here. Then I'm going to get the fourth one out of here. Then I'm going to kill any that got summoned in with higher stats. And then I'm going to kill, you know, I'm not going to worry about the lower stat copycats. It's really annoying. You just got to kill them in the order of appearance, basically. So order of stats, order of appearance. Don't be sitting there like using your mirror queen on the summoned in copycat in the first slot over and over and over. They'll just keep bringing it back and bringing it back. If you kill the original copycats, the... The summoned in copycats can't summon powerful copycats. So they'll keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker. The more you eliminate the original copycats, the high level copycats, the the lower level the summons will become. So you see there that one summoned in at 5979. If I kill this one, if the 5979 summons in something, it's going to be like even lower. It can't summon in something that's higher than it. So you want to like kill the things that are the highest. And you got to kind of keep track. Sometimes you'll be on the third one. You'll knock it down to like 14 HP. And then you'll be, you know, looping over here with your copycat. And you'll forget which one you were doing. So you got to kind of keep track of which one you were killing at the time too. Over here on offense though, like I was doing copycat uh, just on herself over and over and over and over until I would get up the mirror queen. Then I'd pick a target and just kill that target with both mirror queens until it's dead. Order of, like, appearance. So first copycat, uh, second copycat. And if I had both copycats, I would cast the second copycat onto e the first copycat or itself or whatever. That way, if you do yellow, it can go into the mirrored queen instead of the first copycat. So if you're, if you're casting the first copycat on itself, it's going to take the yellow. But if you cast the second copycat onto the first or, the, or itself... It'll go into the Mirror Queen. That's why you have it like that. Then later on, you're going to have to, like, summon in copies. Like, you're going to you're gonna lose your first copycat. That's why... Then you can start summoning in copies of the Mirror Queen. You might even finish this whole thing with, like, all Mirrored Queens or something. But, um... You got lots of uh, summoning here, too. But the, I was trying to... Like, the most annoying part is the enemy keeps summoning and summoning and summoning. Because if you lose your first copycat, you can summon in something. You'll be okay. But, um... And that's the whole idea. But the hardest part is, like, the order of operation of killing the enemies to make sure they don't keep summoning and summoning and, like, the battle takes forever. See, now they have a 4 and a 12. They have a couple 4 and 12s. I'm not worried about those at all. I hope they fill up the whole screen with 4 and 12. Because then I can just skull, bang, spell, the skull, spell. Bang, they're all dead, you know? Five, a 2 and a 5. You see how it gets lower and lower? It's like cutting in half every time. So I'm not worried about that. It's annoying, but I'm not worried about it. I'm trying to kill this last one. If I get rid of this last one, they can't summon crap. I'll, I'll wipe them out easily with skulls and spells. Once you get them into one shot, it's not so bad. Just kind of annoying. And it does. It could take you a couple tries. You might have to boost up your horde level pretty high. 
Might have to do your associated kingdom. It's not an easy one. Mirrored Halls is not an easy one. But, you know, it did take, I think I, if I remember correctly, like when I was doing it, it took me a few tries to get down the strategy. But now that's why you have me to tell you the strategy where I was probably killing the first copycat like over and over and over. I don't want you to fall into the same trap of the, uh, doing that. Don't try to like hurry up and get rid of the weak copycats and work your way down. Just continuously kill the higher level, the higher stat, the um, the one that was there first copycat. So that's what's gonna, it's going to end up being like. like your first battle. You're going to have all copycats. Your last battle, all copycats. Like that's how the battle's going to go for the enemy. And even on your side, you can end up having all copycats or all mirrored queens. Just how it goes. But that's what I would recommend. Copycat, mirrored queen, copycat, mirrored queen. It's set up like that on purpose. If you have both your copycats, cast the second one. So it, so the yellow can go into the mirrored queen. Kill the enemies in you know the order of appearance. Don't keep killing the summoned in weaker ones. Concentrate on the higher level ones that were there first. The best advice I can give. And you might have to try multiple times. You might have to up your horde level. Medals of Nisha etc good luck like share subscribe consider joining it helps a lot tell your guild about the channel comment below and i'll see y'all next time peace